Today's question is, Joe, how do I know what business strategy I should be following? All right, so, well, typically you'd want to know what phase of business you're at. And um, that kind of dictates what kind of, uh, where your focus of the business strategy uh, would be to, to, to follow. Um, so what kind of phases of business are there? Well, there's the startup phase, there's the growth phase, and then there's the scale phase. Um, the startup phase is when you're starting out. The growth phase is when you're starting, you know, you've been probably in business for at least six months and, um, you know, things are going well enough for you to want to continue. Um, the scale phase is, um, you know, you're ready to scale, make, you know, hire a lot more people typically and, um, uh, and grow your business, you know, to multiple billions or, or even billions. So how do you know which phase you're in? Um, well, if you're in the startup phase, you're typically asking kind of the kinds of questions that, um, you know, my, my students will ask was, how do I market myself? Um, how do I get clients? What contracts do I use? What information do I provide at which stage of um, a project? How do I run a project? Um, how do I know what services to offer? How do I market myself? So they're the kinds of questions a startup would be asking. So you know that you're in the startup phase of business. If you're, if you still don't have any data to compare against, you you're still um, wanting to know, uh, you know, what program should I use? Um, should I start um, uh, reaching out to people uh, and telling, like, uh, trying new avenues uh, to get clients? You know, th these are really typically startup kinds of questions. And you'll know, um, <clears throat> uh, well, actually some people could be in, in business for quite a few years and they're still in the startup phase because they've either been doing it as a side hustle or they, they don't just, they don't, they never set up their business correctly or uh, it just has never been profitable or they um, have been winging it really. Um, quite a few people I've worked with are like, you know, they've been working quite okay for about eight months to, you know, 24 months. But then they hit a block and they're like, ah, oh, um, this is starting to cause me a problem. And um, they're still typically startup problems because, um, you know, something like, well, I don't know how to uh, complete a project. I don't know what the next phase is. And, you know, that you should, before you start to scale, you should sort these kind of niggly things out. Um, then how do you know you're in the scale phase? So um, the scale phase kind of questions that you'll be asking is how do I grow or scale, <laughs> you know, I'm ready to take on more clients or get more money, um, but how do I do that? Um, how can I provide more value for my clients to typically to make more money? Uh, can I outsource? Um, I'm getting too busy. How do I like uh, make the way I work more efficient? These, um, uh, how do I free up my time? That's a, a, you know, a very typical one. How do I increase conversions? So how do I, you know, your, um, you maybe have a marketing strategy that isn't as um, efficient, working efficiently, or how do you, you know, you get that um, kind of strategy working more efficiently for you so that it's using less of your time, using less money, potentially, um, you know, you're refining strategies that you've already got in place because you've got that data there to now analyze, right? So um, a typical one, if you're asking the question, at, uh, this question, you know that you're at growth phase and it's how do I get better quality clients? <laughs> That's um, especially a typical one for interior designers and architects. It's uh, when you know that um, you just don't want to work with these types of people anymore. And that's a perfect phase. to. Uh, that's when you know you're like, okay, I'm ready. I'm in, I'm in growth phase because you need to start tweaking because you need to start setting new goals. You're no, you're no longer a startup at that phase. You've got new goals to um, start looking towards and, you know, it's time to set new goals or else, um, you know, that's when, you know, we go back to the original question is which uh, business strategy should you be following? Well, you no longer should be following the startup strategy. You should be following the growth strategy. So um, it's, you know, that is the time when you start asking yourself those questions. This is when you know, this is like, okay, well, it's like, click. <laughs> um, I'm maybe uh, it's time to like uh, 
look at set some new goals, um, start refining my ideas and start heading in the, the next direction for my business. You know, how long do you stay in these phases? It really varies. I've seen people go straight from startup to growth within six months. Um, that happened to me. That happens, um, you know, to probably about 25% of my mentees. Uh, but the majority stay in startup for, you know, typically one to two years. Um, and then some people a little bit longer because um, they're just happy to be plodding along at their own pace, you know, taking on a client here and there. Um, and, you know, everyone's a little bit different. But uh, those of you who scale quite quickly, um, you might get really confused really like quite soon thinking, well, um, this isn't working for me anymore. It's like you start to get really frustrated and you start searching for more information. And that's where, you know, that's um, typically a sign where you're like, okay, well, it's time for me now to start looking at a different business strategy because this is working. I've just now got to refine my goals, analyze this data that I've got and start um, using this to my advantage so that I can make more money, hire more people, uh, get better projects, um, work with the right clients um, or change the direction of my business. So um, that's definitely more growth, uh, growth phase kind of stuff. I'm not gonna go into scale phase because um, <laughs> typically, I mean, uh, a scale phase, I mean, there's some things, actually there's some crossover between scale phase and growth phase because um, at the scale phase, you're like, you're literally taking what works and going for it on a really massive scale. Um, and typically you will need a, a, like a, a large amount of funds um, and a larger team. Um, and by that stage, you would know where that money is coming from and it would be consistent, high income. Um, but uh, something that uh, typically you would get at scale phase um, is the passive income product. So, uh, but you might be starting that in the growth phase. Uh, you could even potentially start at startup stage, but it's got to be part of your startup strategy, if that makes sense. So that would be part of your business plan or your uh, part of, um, you know, the way that you've started your niche or your business. Um, but typically most people who are becoming interior designers or even people who are starting an architecture business, they just, they just want to work with clients. <laughs> you know, they're not, they don't want to get into all the, the fussy Stuff. They just want to work, do the job that they love, and they're happy doing that for at least the first year or two to get, you know, some confidence and some experience up. But once you're in growth phase and uh, potentially crossing over from growth into scale phase, you're, well, um, I need, I've got a lot of projects uh, typically or like um, demanding projects which are worth that, that, um, that, um, well, the money and the value that, um, that you're charging for them. Um, and you want to free up your time and make more money and a passive income product typically is that kind of way where you're going to scale or um, move into that growth phase uh, really quickly so um, that's when you would now introduce and look at a scale strategy right so um, hopefully that starts to clarify those um, like what kind of um, uh, business strategy would be um, and how you know like where you're at because it can be really confusing there's a lot of information about businesses starting businesses um, also a lot of um, you know guidance that you might be using at a, a startup um, but is designed for scale phase and it can hurt your business because you're going to be wondering why this isn't working for you when it's working for everyone else this happened to me because I didn't really understand the differences that um, I needed to gather all the information, start the projects and start getting going before I needed to do all this other stuff. So um, if you're getting growth phase or scale phase information and you're a startup, um, I would do what I can um, to I mean, and it's hard because there's shiny object syndrome. You just want to, you know, oh, it's working for them and making like tons of money. And it's like, yeah, but you're not ready for it yet. You've got to sort out, you know, the foundations of your business, get those in place. And it may only take a couple of weeks, a couple of months to really get going, depending on how um, focused you are, really. Uh, that is typically what I find. And um, you could find that actually it does happen much sooner than you expect, but um, just chasing, um, you know, like I did the latest coach or the latest, um, you know, uh, 
marketing technique on on the internet um it will uh it will hurt your business in the long term because you'll it will take you longer it, i promise you it will <laughs> um because you'll have to test um at the scale phase basically when you should have done that testing back in the startup stage so by the time you're at scale that, um, you should have gotten over all of that stuff you shouldn't need to ask these questions anymore so there should be no um you've got so much clarity with your business you know your target market you know your clientele you know your projects and you know the kind of um and you know the direction you're headed in by this phase or where you want to start to um you know realign and because of that getting the wrong information or wrong guidance at the wrong phase of business is really really critical um so that is where you've got to catch yourself and typically you've got to do it yourself in the sense where you know you, there's so much marketing material online these days we're being targeted from every angle and someone's saying well oh grow your <laughs> typical one is grow your um, instagram account to over six million followers and or you or you can get um get clients with only 100 followers you know all of these techniques may not be right for the startup um if that makes sense so or you know it, they may be using a strategy that is not a startup strategy um so be really um critical i would say about the information that you're gathering for the phase of business that you're in and most people make the mistake at startup stage to be using scale scaling advice um uh when they typically need startup help and i think that's uh where you see a lot more um where it takes you longer to get going um you get the wrong advice you start testing things that are, are just um they're just too advanced for the the level of designer you're at um even if you're an experienced designer it, i mean what i'm talking about is the level of business and the scale of business and the kind of you know structures that you've got in place to deal with all of these things and um I mean, I keep going back to data, the kind of data that you have about where your leads are coming from, how your conversions are being made, um, how much you can sell a product or service for in your specific niche, for your specific service that you're offering. Um, and, um, you know, the joy of the project and how you're kind of developing those projects, because you may have gone into business so uh, if you think that you're at scale stage and you're still at startup um, you may think you know when you first started all you were going to do was e-design but actually everyone that contacted you ended up wanting um, sourcing and full service design and then um, uh, all of a sudden you start to think that um, uh, I, well, I, I, I started my business thinking I'm going to do one thing ended up doing another and um, all of my structures were in place for one thing, um, such as automating services for an e-design local service. But actually, those services don't work for these one-on-one -on -one high touch kind of clients. So um, you can see where uh, realigning at the scale phase um, or, you know, having enough data um, in, in your business or at least you know, I would say three to four or even six months minimum of project experience behind you working with clients to analyze and see what's working and what isn't and whether that's the direction you actually want to head in or whether you can alter anything or change anything so that you can make that um, that business more profitable, more efficient, see the opportunities in the, pro in the projects that you do have that you're missing, um, you know, and analyze the data that you've got. So hopefully that answers it um uh how do i know what business strategy i should be following yeah so um hopefully that gives you clarity on where you currently are what phases of business there are and then obviously where you would find the kind of business strategy that you need for that phase of business um which is probably a whole nother video so um i'll leave it at that